There's a huge lag on there. <laughs> Let me change screens for a sec. There you go. All right. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, John here with what if I could scroll dot com. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, over on Twitch, and uh, a lot of other shows. And today, oh, I want to say uh, uh, we got a big panel right now. Uh, might have some more people join us. Got some people in the chat there. Uh, who's all out there? Pat and oh, Johnny B was out there. And Mac, hey Mac, Big Mac, haven't seen you in a long time. What have you been up to? You've been hiding out, everybody. Hello, Mac. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, he's been hiding. And uh, uh, in case you missed yesterday's show, we did uh, a Mother's Day. Rose, uh, Steve Good pattern. It's uh, it should be done, glued up by now. Let's check and see if it is. Look at that. So we did that up yesterday. So all I got to do now is uh, oil it and uh, sign the back and give it to the, my client tomorrow. And today we're going to be doing a, a basket, a weaved, weaved, woven, weaved, we weaved basket. Lattice, let's call it a lattice basket. I should, I should have done it in the thing. Lattice basket, layered. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six layers. And uh, I was deciding what to do for a show today. And uh, Billy and Herb are all like, hey, why don't you do this? And uh, so I'm like, fine. Well, let me go find some wood. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't do that. Well, let me do this. So I'm like, well, I can't do that. We'll do this. I'm like, okay, let me go find some wood. So I found some wood. Because uh, last weekend I made some planter covers for Carrie, and uh, these are some offcut scraps of some pallet wood that we had at work. Look at that nails, stickers, everything's on these. And uh, so I took them, ran them through the planer, sanded them down, and I got these. Look at these nice fancy boards, nice fancy flat boards. So I got, uh, like I said, six six of them done up, and uh, I got the patterns on. I just got to put my entry holes in. Drill those out, and we'll see how it turns out. <sighs> Max says, John, seems like every time someone's streaming, I'm busy. I'm bored wishing someone would stream. <laughs> oh, hey, Jameson. How's it going? Oh, and, uh, so let's uh, say hey. Let's say hey. Ah, oh, I just broke my chair. Let's say hey to everybody over in the panel there, and tell us where they can find you all at. While I fix my chair. Up to you, Nick. No, not me. <laughs> Find him uh, off on. Yep. Nick the Flame Turner. Uh, YouTube, Nick the Flame Turner. Instagram, Nick the Flame Turner. And website, Nick the Flame Turner.com. Okay, since Billy ain't here, uh, you can find me on uh, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram. And uh, over you, John B. You can find me on usually one of John's shows or any scrolling show. You can find me on Facebook or hanging out with you guys. Back to you, John. Oh, they right. see you on my. They see you on my show. I've been. I've done some scrolling. Oh That's yeah. Live. I've been on your. Yeah, show. Johnny, you weren't on Nick's scrolling show. Well, sorry, I yeah. was busy. <laughs> and what, what? What are you gonna do? What? What? What are you gonna do when Billy starts his scrolling show? <laughs> I don't know. Cause he'll never scroll. gonna be on there too, and 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 then what are oh. you gonna do when what are you gonna do when Herb starts his scrolling show? I guess I'm gonna have to be busy, aren't I? Yeah, yeah you're gonna have to be unbusy. I know. Yeah, so so if everybody's not following along with that, there's a lot more scrolling shows coming out for everybody to watch. No, no, mine's not really a scrolling show. Mine will be. Well, actually, now that we've worked out that my scroll saw isn't that loud. I probably could do more scrolls of lives. Hello, Shay. Hello, Larry. Hey, Shay. Howdy. Hey, hey, Shay, Shay. Shay, I saw a picture with you with a bunch of paint in your hair and all of your hands. And all apparently it's all over the floor, apparently, too. Eh? She's painting her kitchen. <laughs> She's painting her kitchen today. Yeah, you're supposed to get your dad to do because he's a professional painter. And when Billy comes on, he can tell you, he'll tell you, you can find him on Facebook and YouTube under Billy Burt Sr. or over on uh, Messy Studios. 
And he just did up a video for Hackberry Bowl, which looks kind of cool, actually. Well, let me address something. Uh, uh, Larry says, howdy, everyone. I owe everyone an apology for last night. I was having a rough night. Larry, you don't owe anybody apology. We're all here to help each other, brother. Absolutely, I agree. And there's no point apologizing to me because I won about. And I don't think there was any problem with what you were doing last night anyway. You were you're basically just voicing your opinion on what you wanted to do with your woodworking stuff. So there. Voice your opinion. That's what we're here for. We'll 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 tell you if you're in the wrong, which is hardly ever. Because <clears throat> John's never wrong. Haha. <laughs> Well, you know what? For my opinion, then, you need to stop playing with your wood. <laughs> I need to stop playing with it or start playing with it? Whichever one's worse. <laughs> uh <-huh. sighs> so, how's everybody doing? Uh, Jameson, saw your new truck. Looks cool. Uh, hope you don't treat this one like you did your last one. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep this one in one piece. Did you guys see that accident that he had? Yep. I uh, saw the pictures. Yeah, so he said he was, uh, he had wet wet pavement, started fishtailing, uh, hydroplaning and fishtailing, and then rolled it twice, I think he said. And he only had bu a few bumps and bruises, so it wasn't, it was, it was, it was, you know, his truck's in pretty bad shape, but it was a write off, so that's pretty good. It's good that he's not, he's not injured. Yep. God definitely had the wheel that day. Exactly. See, most people pay for a road like that. He go for free. Yeah, yeah. He said three times. I rolled three times. Wow. Okay, I just got to drill some entry holes here. Just. I'm going to mute myself. Glad you're all right. You was able to come home to the wife and the kiddos. Yep. It's always a good thing when you can walk away. Oh, yes. So as long as you can laugh it off after, then it's all good. Yep. Yep. Oh, did you hear what Stacey's rope mean to? No, what's she rope you into, Nick? <sighs> well, when I hit, or when I get to a thousand subs, that is going there. Well, let's see if I can get you up there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I want to so that's uh Nick Nick the flaming or the flaming turner over on YouTube. Let's get him get up to the thousand subs. <clears throat> get up. So uh if, if your hair is going to your beard at a thousand, what happens at twenty five hundred? Does it go lower? And time would you pay me to see it? <laughs> <laughs> you want you, you you want even or odd numbers? <laughs> What is it? Oh, where is it? No, it's on odd at the moment. How, how much do you got for your for your shed now? Um, a thousand. A thousand? Yep. You need three, right? Yep. Well, at the last time I um I quoted it, it was the price that's on there, so it's free. <sighs> Oh, is it free? Three thousand thirty-three. Has the uh, has the lumber prices jumped up there too, like they have over here? Um, I don't know because I can't remember the last time I actually brought any wood. <laughs> How much is a sheet of plywood over at you, John? Uh, five by five, quarter inch Baltic birch is sitting at about fifty-three dollars now. It used to be thirty-five. Holy moly! See, it'd be a bit difficult for me to actually come out with like a price like that because our sizing the difference. Because I, I, okay. I priced it the other day 
and it was forty dollars uh, by a four by eight sheet. A four by eight. Yeah. Where are you buying it at? Don't tell me Home Depot or Lowe's either. Rona. Rona. Yeah. That's not Baltic Birch, though. No, that was just pine. They didn't have Baltic yeah. Birch. Mike Kim's in the house, bid not Joker. Hello, Mike. Hey, my hey, Mike, Mike. I'm going to call you Mike, Mike, for now on. Mike, Mike. Oh, cheers, Larry. <laughs> I just saw you comment now. Yeah, because, look, uh, I don't know. You see people put lumber prices all the time now. And I, uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're saying uh, now here, uh, two by four. So a two by four by eight foot is going for about 20 bucks now. It used to be eight bucks. It used to be about a buck a foot. See, I don't no. buy my stuff in sheets. <sighs> Maybe because I ain't got the room to actually store it like that or cut it. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the the well, the thing is with with uh, uh, sheet stock, uh, sheet stock is cheaper than, than than buying your smaller pieces that that you buy, yeah. uh, because then you cut it your own size, all the sizes you want, right? <clears throat> That's what if I had the storage and the equipment to actually be able to saw it up myself, then I probably would. Well, currently in the workshop size that I have, I can't. Well, all you need is a jigsaw or a skill saw. No, I literally haven't got the room to even lie down. And I ain't going to stay there, so No. Well, no, uh, well, no, the thing is you, you put it out, you, you, you buy it, and you lay it on the grass right away. Or, sorry, you put it on styrofoam on the grass right away, and you cut it at, when you're first bringing it home into so reasonable sizes. Plus, three by, three my, by car, three. my car ain't big enough to actually uh, store it. Uh, have you never seen on the roof? <laughs> That's what ratchet straps are for. That's what ratchet Dude, straps and rope. Imagine me going down the bloody road and my car just literally going woo, just taking <laughs> off. I've I've seen people throw adult, uh, king size bed or king size mattresses on top of a small Toyota <clears throat> and strap them down through the door, Boncho, so, uh, through the windows. <laughs> Yeah, strap them, up, strap them to the roof of the car and put the stage up there to hold them down. <laughs> She'll enjoy that. Just drive really fast. Uh, if you're lucky, she's asleep. <laughs> That's why I said it. Oh, you guys are bad. No, what was bad was me going to have food while she was still asleep. You should show your pattern, John. What you're working on tonight. And put us to the sidebar, please. Hello, Mimi. How are you doing this evening? Hey, Mimi. No, uh, Billy went to go eat. I can see some moving in the background. Oh, see, here it comes. No, maybe one of those grandkids. <clears throat> so the pattern is going to be in one, two, three, six, six pieces. There is a top. It's hard to see, isn't it? The, the top. Lights are killing it. And a bottom. The bottom is just a, a rectangular square cut, though. But I, I actually figured out something I'm going to do for the top different. I'm going to put this, the, this top rim is going to go onto it, but then I'm going to put a lid on top of that as well. And what I was talking about when I was design well, well it, it's a steve good pattern just go over to steve d good site uh in his catalog uh weave weave box and uh, it's in there and uh so basically what i i basically just it, it comes out I, this is the actual size of it so it's like a four by five box uh yeah a four by five box and then i'm going to uh, actually add an extra lid on top of it and i'm going to use it for my mother-in-law's scratch tickets because that's what she likes to do is scratch scratch tickets when she's up here. My mother does that all the time. So I figured it's a place for her to stick her scratch tickets rather than sticking them in the side of the couch or leave them on the table mm -hmm. or throwing them all over the place in the kitchen. So organization. You should try doing it out of pallet wood, John. 
It is. Well, technically it is pallet wood, but it, it, it's crating. So it, it's at a crate, cr crates that our, our, all our signs come in. Uh, so it's one by one by six. Those one by six crate crated wood that looks pretty beat up and weathered and stuff. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's still screws and stickers and see the labels on there. Yep. And, uh, like I said, so I, 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 I threw them through the planer, sanded them down and they're nice and pretty. So it, it doesn't take much work to, uh, re bring crap wood back to life, make it look better. How did you, uh, take the nails out of your pallet wood? If you did. Okay, they're not pallets. They're crates. Well, if, if you were to, how would you? Pallet wood. Yeah. See, I, I I've never, That's I've never place, taken, right? I've never taken a lot of pallets apart, uh, because we get more wood from our crates than we do our pallets. So, um, the pallets basically are are either screws or nails and or staples, and basically all we do is just cut that end off. Like I'll just cut that end off, like flip it upside down so the staples sticking up. Cut that end off, and then I'll run it through the planer. Just get rid of the staples. Hey, later, Jameson. Jameson, thanks for Hi. hanging out with us for a little bit. See you, Jameson. Yeah, that, that's all I do for a little bit. Like, I, I, get, I get so much crated wood, cr cr crating wood here. That's unbelievable. Like, uh, uh, in the past past week, we, we probably took apart four, six, eight eight crates and like uh all two by fours one by fours one by sixes and we basically throw it out in the front of our yard and it's gone like before noon like everybody's just looking for scrap wood right now yep but yeah it, it's 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 pretty decent it's pretty decent once you uh just just run through the planer sand it down you should see the lineup every weekend, the first weekend of every month at my work. There's truckloads of people waiting to get the scraps at, at our work. It's going to be kind of hard to get with you working there now, I want think. Oh, it's dangerous. Very, very dangerous. <laughs> I just don't have room for it. Oh, you got the room. Just throw it in your, your unrenovated kitchen. <laughs> he said he'd rather kiss a pole kitty on the backside than do that. Yep. Mr. Josh Grover, how's it going? It says, who's got scrap wood available? We do, but you got it's, it's up here in Grand Prairie, Alberta. <clears throat> but like I said, we uh, uh, we throw it out. We, we unload the truck in the morning from the day before. Unload the truck in the morning, and by noon, it's gone. Hello, Josh. Hey, Josh. But there's still a lot of wood out there that people haven't taken. Okay. I suppose I want. I sp Go ahead, Herb. We're 18 minutes in the show. Are we going to be a scrolling or are we going to be a checking? We're just checking to see what everybody's doing. Says right. so that you had seven people watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to throw them out in the chat. We'll do the best uh, ability to answer. If not, Nick, the Flame and Turner's got all the answers. Since since Steve isn't here, I'll say we sure do appreciate you. I ain't got no answers. Max says, John, the prices they're wanting for wood these days, I'm not surprised it's going that fast. Yeah, I know. It's unbelievable. But I... I, I still got a, my, my, my shed out back because I know a couple of years ago, I, I, I was sitting in the backyard for probably a whole day just cutting up, create, uh, uh, creating from the wood, wood from the crating. And I cut them all to 24 or 24, 18, 18 inch lengths because they fit in my fireplace real nice. Um, I could probably go back. Uh, I probably got, geez, probably a full two, two full cubed pallets in my back shed. Of all this one by six wood. Josh Don't pay the ransom, just, I escaped. Josh said he just finished wiring his trailer. All right, but I ain't got the money to pay for it anyway. <laughs> How are you, Billy? Uh, I'm good, Johnny B. How are you? Good. Long time no Are you see. full? I am sustained. Sustained. That means he's going back for ice cream in 30 minutes. 
<laughs> yeah, or whenever, probably. or whenever one of my grandkids brings me a bow. <laughs> Oh yeah, so so I finished last night's show. It was like it was like eleven o'clock, and then I went inside, and um, I, I, I said, "Carrie, Carrie was napping on the couch, of course." And uh, I said, "Hey, I thought you said you mentioned something earlier about apple pie." She goes, so "You want apple pie?" I'm like, "Yeah." She goes, oh, "Okay, I'll get you some." So she warmed it up for me, and everything it was awesome. I'm like, "What? Oh, no ice cream?" Cool. I'm like, "What? No ice? What? No ice cream?" She goes, "No." <laughs> I like my apple pie with cheddar cheese melted over the top. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. oh man, that's so good! Billy, you, you're hurting me. Stop. That's a, that's an American thing, though. It is. It's good, isn't it, Herb? Yes, it is. Well, I'm glad you said that one because even I looked a bit confused then. Oh, it's yum! Jeez, you gotta try it. Gonna try. Oh yeah, you gotta try it, Nick. It's so good. <clears throat> hey, Larry. Hey, Mac. How are you guys doing? It'll make you slap your sister. Yeah, it will. I am not driving up like two hours up the road just to slap her. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a sister, so. I didn't until two years ago. That's weird. What's weird? That you didn't have a sister until two years ago. Well, I knew who she, I knew her name, but I never knew who, knew where she was. Oh. Dad's pinch jumper. So it's basically like a, a long lost sister sort of thing. Yeah. I hear you. <sighs> so how many pieces has he cut already? None. On. None? We just, we just None. now got started. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, so I didn't I didn't miss much. No, he was waiting on you to come back. I kept trying to get him. I said, it's 18 minutes after. It's time to get this. Are well, we it, it, or what? It, it only took me about seven minutes to eat. The rest of the time I spent washing dishes. Because I'm a good husband like that. Shut up. No, you ain't got a brand nose to us. <laughs> Don't, are you trying to get me in trouble? You're really trying to get us to pay that ransom, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Larry. I was wondering the same thing. What did John see to deserve to get that apple pie? Yep. What was that? <laughs> Larry wants to know what did you do to deserve that? I let her nap on the couch while I was in my shop. Oh. <laughs> I was Mac, Mac said, "Billy, you know this bunch can't start, can't get started without a half hour of BSing first. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, Mac. But we all had to wait for you to finally show up because we haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, where the hell you been, dude? Oh. Yeah, Mac. Damn. Yeah, Mac. Oh, I'm just joined in. I know where he's been." What part of the basket that is? Oh. It's, that piece. it's the top. Oh, okay. Because it looks like you're cutting straight lines. It does. Are they straight or are they? They're, they're straight like that, Bill. Oh. They're, like, they're like this? Yeah, they're straight lines. Like no, he said they're straight. I know. Make up my mind. Sorry, Billy. It's okay. When it focused in there, it looked like it was leave like that. Yeah. I thought that too. Okay, I'm not just... Okay. Okay. You see it, John. Mac says, Billy, every time I actually sit down to watch somebody streaming and no one's doing it. Yeah, the streams have been somewhat sparse. Unless it's the middle of the day when I'm out in the shop and everybody in the world is streaming. I don't know anybody is doing that. No, no, no. Except maybe uh, Stace Makes and the Flaming Turner and Steve Twidell and
Be sure, Max, there are going to be some new scrolling shows up here. Ooh, well, yeah. no, there'll be some new scrolling videos, not shows. Oh, no, there will be a new show. Well, I, except I may do... I may do my scrollings live. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. You should, Billy. You should. Uh, Josh, this is actually a weave a woven basket. And I want to get a little straight, practice in me first. Straight cuts. This is actually the first basket I've ever made. <clears throat> You're welcome. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> That's what I so wish I could change my blade like that. So do I. So did I. I can now. I can too. Yippee. Yeah, I've got to say, uh, my yeah. spell saw sounds quieter than that one. Yeah, but his will quieten down the more he starts scrolling. Not much, but your still is quieter. Yeah. Thank you. I'll do have mine on the slow speed. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. That was actually the black one is the only walking stick I made. The ones that I'm working now working on now are actually canes. They're the or actually they're the bodies for canes that I'm I've been commissioned to make for a guy that donates canes. He's gonna put the little rubber feet and the and the cane handles on. I'm just doing the artistic embellishment on them. But in the fair, uh, uh, dang, I can't know. Easy for you to say. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yes, Mac, I do. I really do. Uh, one specific gender, anyway. So what kind of scroll saw do you have, Billy? Uh, the new Delta. Okay. Do you like it, or have you played on it yet? I, I haven't had a chance to play on it yet. I'm trying to get this blasted cane order out. Um, I have turned it on, made one test cut, and yes, I think I'm really going to like it. Are you using spirals or state blades? Well, the only it came with two blades, and they're both straight. I ordered a bunch of spirals <laughs> two weeks ago, and they're still not here. And according to the website, they haven't even shipped yet. So I'm going to order some more. Where did you order from? Order them from? Let me just run over my channel for a second. We'll be back. Triant Engineering. So I'm guessing that I'll be lucky because we don't have anything, don't have that over here. So, and uh, and apparently they're coming because they're penguin blades made in Germany. So apparently they're coming from Germany via China. Oh. It's the only thing I can figure. Fair enough. So what is it? They're being made in Germany to be tested in China to be sent over to you to use. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mac. I do, too. I, I have used that new bandsaw quite a bit now, and I absolutely love it. I, I honestly can't believe the difference <laughs> that bandsaw made over my old one. I thought I had my old one tuned up pretty good, and, and it was doing me a fine job, but I get more resaw capacity, and I get a better fence with this one. So, And what kind of a bandsaw is it? Really? I got a 14 inch jet steel frame, Euro style. Okay. Gave me 13 inches of resaw. My old 14 inch cast iron bandsaw with a six inch riser block on it only gives me 12. An extra inch doesn't seem like much, but. Every inch counts. Yep. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Did you yeah, probably Josh. Josh said made in Germany, shipped via China, via Canada, via UK. <laughs> but if they stop at my place, you ain't getting them back. I was, was going to say, Nick's going to get them before you do. Yeah, no joke. 
What? To be honest, I might actually get my blades before you do. No. Oh. Uh, Who's got the music going? I'm oh, sorry, someone's got an alarm going. Oh, it's my wife's alarm. It's time for her to take her meds. Yeah. yeah, Max says, good tools just make woodworking so much more pleasurable, Billy. I'm glad you're enjoying the new one so much. Oh, yeah. Hey, Steve. Steve Needland's hey, in the house. Hey, Steve. Hey, How's it going today? There we go. One level done. Oh, that's good. That's good. Look how easy that. Look at that. John just on. John just putting the work out today. It, is, is it sanded too? Just make sure you don't put yeah. it on the shelf because you'll never see it again. Sanded inside and out. Oh no, he's giving yep. it to his mother-in-law. Oh, so he's got to finish it. Yeah, he's giving it to her this weekend yeah. or something. Well, this I'm is... picking her up this coming weekend, upcoming next weekend coming up, so she'll get it like Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, see. So I uh, get my key finished and then rush to get it all done the day before. Hello, Michelle. Yep. Hey, Michelle. What are you up to? Yeah, I got my next pattern finished. Hey, John. No, John I'm not going to show you. Does, does, does Carrie know that your ex girlfriend watches your uh, your scrolling shows? Dope. <laughs> not my ex girlfriend. <laughs> we went to high school together. <laughs> Ah, uh, what? I'm banging my wife's mom. What are you talking about? Huh? What? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Not to talk to you. Talk about yourself like that. No, I'm Mike driving down Kim's to Calgary. The Hello, oh, sorry. Mike. Oh, Katoks. Oh, he's been here already. You missed him. You were eating. Oh, I missed his entry. <laughs> sorry, Mike. Hi. So, unless you missed it on yesterday's show. I'm picking my mother-in-law up yeah, from Okotoks, outside Calgary. And I apologize to all my Calgary friends that we're just going down, picking her up and driving back. So we won't have time to visit. But when they swing back at no Thanksgiving, we'll make it a little bit longer. And that's the last time I invite you around for coffee. Uh, Michelle said she's loaned you longer than high school. Y'all were 12. Ooh. Shh. All coming out there. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Man, these jelly bellies are good. Hey John, you might have just used papers. Not a jelly bean. Why are you turning the piece in there? Why do you want me to use straight blades? Because the, the two, the two, the, the last two pieces I've cut are been straight lines. That's it. Yeah, you're turning the piece. Hey. Because it's easier I, to push I, forward. I was cutting <laughs> curves with my old pin wide pinned blades on my craftsman scroll saw. The blades that I got with this one, the two blades that came with two came with two blades. <laughs> They're like the size of a human hair, maybe. I, I, there's no doubt in my mind. They're straight blades. And there's no doubt in my mind I can cut tiny circles with those suckers. So yeah, I oh, tried my straight blades earlier, and I did a straight line with my spiral blades, and I did with the straight blades. Hmm. Really? Okay, let me go sand these ones down, too. Yeah, go sand those down, too. Yes, Mac. I'm talking about the jelly beans going into my jelly belly. Thank you very much. But my jelly belly don't shake. It, it's solid iron. <laughs> Peanut gallery over here to my left is speaking up. I hear that. Ignore her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Welcome back. 
curve. I'm all glad to be back. Josh said to- straight blazer for cutting straight line. Sorry, Herb. I had to go take care of before Billy got it. I got the ice cream this time. Oh, you turd. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I'm eating jelly beans. These are killing me and all that. Hello, Steve. John, don't bend over too far. Your pants will fall down. Right, nobody wants to see that. Nope. What? Not today, anyway. I said, don't bend over too far. Your pants will fall down. Two pieces done. Look at that. Two. 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 And two. Two. Bottom Two top. pieces done. Time to light the house up. One, two. 36 minutes in, and he's got two pieces cut. That's awesome. Woo-hoo. It's a record. <laughs> <sighs> oh, they're not just cut, Johnny. They're, they're cut and too. sanded. I know. That's cut and awesome. sanded. Actually, I mean, yeah. we're, we're, we're talking first class stuff here, dude. Actually, uh, only uh, 10 minutes of cutting because 20 of it was just uh, a high dilly dudes. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah, see, I, I, I can put the these, work I really wanted to. This piece, these, these, this piece here, this is going to be a little more difficult to sand. Just saying. Well, no, I'll just take my need, time. If you need any tips, sand it all. You what? <laughs> I'll take my John? time on the. I'll take my time on the edges. That way, I don't have to worry about sanding it. Oh, okay. To be honest, day of my life, I actually done the outside and sanded it in about forty minutes. What? Why so I fast? I don't know. I've, never seen, I, I've never seen you sand anything in forty minutes. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 you sure missed it today. I tell you what, the last couple of days when I've been sanding the 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 grooves in those canes that I'm making by when I'm sanding by hand, I'm like, where is Nick when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm definitely thinking about ordering one of the t-shirts I've done. I would. Because I have a t-shirt that literally says, just keep sanding, just keep sanding. (laughs) See, I'm definitely going to order me one. I may have one made up and put in my store that says exactly that. Where is Nick when you need him? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I want a percentage. (laughs) Royalties. Oh my god, just print already. Or maybe time for sanding and then where is Nick when you need him? <laughs> time for sanding, call Nick. He's yeah. a sander, he's a sandy, sandy sand. And he can bring his diggy whole box with him. <laughs> Josh said, John, you need to sand a little more like Nick. Oh, there we go. It's finally printing. Oh, goddamn time. <laughs> okay, Billy, put the lid back on the jelly bellies. I swear I turned this thing off properly last night. <clears throat> I suppose I ought to pull John's YouTube video up on my phone so I can give him a like and some watch time. Because because I'm I'm nice like that. Hey John, you got 12, twelve people watching now. No, I got fourteen people watching. No, it says twelve online. See, we only look at YouTube. Because I got two over on Facebook. 
Because I know uh, Michelle's over on Facebook watching me. Okay. She's like a little stalker. Hey, Steve Combs. Oh, Hello. God, I never printed it off. Hello, Steve. How are we doing? Hello, Esteban. Hey, Billy Birch in the chat. How you doing, Billy? Huh? I'm just dandy. Oh, damn it. Okay. I see. 14 watching. No, Billy. It's 16 watching. I'm just, mine shows 14. Oh, not it's counting the Facebook. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Don't get it right. There's two on Facebook. See, that's what I'm saying. Well, there, there may be one or two more crop up here before it's over. John can't whiz through these like he did the first two. He's got to take his time so he don't have to worry about too much sandy sand. Yep. And he's got to make it look nice for his mother-in-law. Right. Because, you know, it's important to make the mother-in-law. That way I look. He had mother-in-law. Well, true. Yeah. He, he, he don't want Carrie slapping him in the head with a frying pan. No. The, th the Give, thing giving is. Giving his mother-in-law, giving her mother a trashy gift. The I know a professional is. sander to come sand that for you. The, the thing, thing is. What, <laughs> if, family, if family bitches about free stuff, then they don't get any more stuff. So, <laughs> I could have right, nails well, sticking out of this, and she'd be like, oh, it's beautiful. <sighs> Everyone in the room. My wife said, some of these people might not know you're serious, might, you might not know you're not serious. I said, no, they all know me well enough to know that I'm never serious. <laughs> oh, my God. New table, and I've got black ink on it. No. Hello, Steve C. How do you, you got what on that new table? Ink. For shame. Thank God I ain't staying at your house. It's all right. Bit of spit polish will get it off. Put no, the coffee next, cup over it. You could always yeah. sand it out. And yeah, sanding this sort of thing. Sand it, mix up some epoxy, put it on there. I could always <laughs> use um, instant noodles. A good point, Josh. Instant noodles. <laughs> Josh said, Billy, who in our group is serious? <laughs> Just oh. tell her it's maca powder. Am I trying to rub face in it? Just tell her it wasn't you. It wasn't there when you were there. Uh, it was there when I got it. Mm. Max did it. Uh, yeah, well, tell her the girls did it. It's eyeshadow. I was telling Max did it. He was practicing. He copied her. Max says, Josh, don't use language like that in here. That just means you even think. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just get Max. I'll just get Max in here. He'll all show you his number one fan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't earlier. And when he, yeah. when Stace asked him why, he said, because I love him. Oh, no. I could need some teaching. <laughs> you wait till tomorrow. Right out of the blue. All right, the blue. I'll walk up to me and go, that, look. Boom. 
Mm-hmm. And then it'll be what I did that last night. And then he'll just walk off. Yeah. I I don't think you I don't think you hurt Max feelings, Josh. His feelings are kind of hard to get to. That hey, kid don't care. Hey Nick, is that your finger? No, nope. no, I was talking about Mac. No, Mac thinking. apostrophe S. It's my pacemaker, Johnny V. Okay. I don't know what you're on about. I don't hear nothing. <laughs> I would say, but I get enough gripe in here. I don't want no more from across the pond. <laughs> oh, wait. Those are my feelings that are hard to get to. Never mind. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I get a griping over here, and then I get a griping from across the pond, John. Oh, yeah. Just, just quit hanging out with Stace, and you one of those will be going away. No, but that means more moaning for me. That means what? I'll get the more moaning. Oh, that's true. If she's moaning at someone else, then it's less moaning than me. That's true. Means I can get away more. <laughs> just means you can sand more, right, Nick? No. no? Oh, mean, oh, mean spend more oh, money. oh, now I know why you've been keeping me around. Larry says <laughs> most of the time, I don't know if you're serious or not. Yeah, right, Larry. To be honest, I don't think I'm allowed to go out anymore on my own. I went out, come back with a scroll saw. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> I had to wait for a bandsaw blade. That's a good excuse. Yeah, but I'll still come up with a bandsaw blade. Oh, you did get the bandsaw blade? Yep. And do you know what? It's still sitting on the side. I ain't even put it on the bandsaw yet. <laughs> uh, bandsaws work better if you put the blades in them. I had no just reason saying. to use it just yet. They've been too play busy playing with his new toy. I oh, hope she's asleep. <laughs> I didn't know she was new. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> That's the neighbor, Billy. Oh, shh. Shh. <laughs> she might watch the replay. That's why that back door is always ajar. Don't I? I get absolutely sick and tired of that. I walk towards the workshop and there's the door open. <laughs> hey, Jason, how's it going? Oh. Jason. Oh. Hey, Jason. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> you, see my, you, see my, you see my comment about her back door being open? <laughs> no. <laughs> She said it's always cold. She says it's always cold in the house. And then she realized that the back door was open. And I said, uh, it was pretty rude, actually. I don't think I should say it on the air. <laughs> do, 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 looking out my back door. Yep. Shannon Keats in the house. Hey, Shannon. How you doing, buddy? Shannon. Steve C says Nick was like... Uh, in my defense, I was left unsupervised. <laughs> Tell Miss Karen we all said hello, Jason. Oh, hello, Karen. Hello, hello Jason. How you hello, kids doing? Karen. Larry says I had ordered two blades for the my bandsaw, and seventy-three dollars and some change from Grizzly got the Timberwolves blades. Uh, Larry, next time you want to order Timberwolf blades, order them from Suffolk Machinery. S-U-F-F-O-L-K. See, I did have a, a good excuse, though. 
why I was allowed to get the scroll so I just said to her, just think of it as my birthday present. And uh, what'd she say? Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I first started an order and when I first started ordering saw blades from them, they have timber wolves. And when I first started, you could get a three pack for like forty five dollars. You can't. I haven't seen the free pack offered lately, but uh, you can get the you, you can get blades for your bandsaw from them for like twenty bucks a piece, twenty two, twenty three, maybe, depending on the the blade. But that that beats seventy three for two blades for sure. You know, it seems like you guys over there can get scroll saw blades a lot easier than what we can. Oh, really? I, told I you. ordered mine two weeks ago. I still don't have them. No, no. It seems like you've got like a lot more shops that sell scroll saw blades. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody and their brother has a woodworking store online these days anymore. Because the only place I can seem to be able to find them when I actually look, mind you, is Axminster or eBay. Nick, Mike Kim wants to know what scroll saw you got. Uh, it is the Lumberjack 405. And yes, I still paid for it, even though I am sponsored by Lumberjack. Uh, Larry, I think with, with Suffolk Machinery, if your order's over like $45, shipping is free. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. Very though, even though I'm sponsored, I did get a good deal on it. Yeah, you cool. Yeah. Mike says Screwfix sells Pegasus blades, Nick. Oh, do they? All right, well, I need to buy any for a bit. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm good for blades for a bit. Jason said, I still buy Olsen blades less than two miles from my house. It's always good to know where I can get some from now. Yeah. I then again, it depends though if they sell them as the twelves or like the big packs. Because I can only seem to get the the twelves. You can only get the dozen? Yeah. And I don't know why. What's wrong with ordering a dozen? What, 12 blades? Yeah. It wouldn't last that long. Well, no, that's why you order uh, a gross. Yeah, but 12, you can't. 12 packages of 12. Yeah, you can't. Unless. On Axminster, I've looked at getting like the big pack and then got it. I'd, I'd literally have to buy like 12 single packs. But I know for a fact if I had the big pack, I'd save more. Hmm. Yeah. Multi pack 12, or about 12 types of lights. Six types nah, of lights. Mm. Oh, yeah. See, I only use, I only use spirals. <clears throat> That's what I liked about that starter kit. It came with. I think five or six different sizes of spirals. See, when I got when I unpacked mine, all it had in there was um, pin blades. Luckily, yeah. I still got some um, spiral ones left. Right. What a dozen of blades cost at Axminster, Nick? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, Larry, Suffolk charges by the inch. When you're selecting your blade type and your size, you scroll down a dialog box to find the size that you want. Once you've got your teeth per inch and your width and all of that selected. Let's 
So yeah, I'll, I'll get the price of a number three blade. That's the main one I use. Oh, three eighty-eight. So I'll say four quid. Four quid. Yeah. But the thing is, on the pack that you get from them, it even says twelve or the one forty-four. But you can't even find the one forty-four on there. It's crazy. They probably buy them by the gross and repackage them as 12. I bet they buy them more than the gross. Yeah. It's just a bit weird why they don't sell. Why is that coming out like that? See, that's why I like ordering from Wooden Teddy Bear. I can call them in the morning, and two days later, they're sitting here at the house. I'm going to try them next time. Let me tell you, if you call them before 12 o'clock, they ship them out then. Hmm. If you call after 12, it's the next day. It might be a little different for up here. Yep. Because uh, I called them on a Friday. Yep. And had them here Monday. Now, wooden teddy bear sells pe uh, flying ducks, don't they? Yep. Not Pegasus. No. Pegasus is still part of the uh, Aniqua. Aniqua is a uh, flying Dutchman. Okay. Does it really matter the make of the blade? Yeah, it does. It just, uh, some people think so. Yeah. That's why John likes penguins. Other people like flying Dutchman. And I don't also, know because I haven't bought any to try yet. Well, the I have. Thing, they just haven't come in. They have flying Dutchman and an ocean blade zip with a teddy bear. I've heard a lot of people say they didn't like the Olsen blades. Nah. John don't like them. If you're in a pinch, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but some people swear by them. I think Jason Rogers is one of them. Yes, he is. Jay's excited to, about this uh, basket. John. What the hell is doing that? Hello, Shaley. Hello again, Shay. She gets her from a wooden teddy bear. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. like Olsen's, but she loves her flying Dutchman's. Why is she all excited about this basket? She didn't say. That's why I like calling over there at wooden teddy bear. There's a lady I always talk to. Her name's Carrie. She makes you feel like part of the family, sit there, hold a conversation with you. You're not just a, a number to them. I also find that if you actually call and talk to somebody, you get better service than if you just go through the email or their, their mm -hmm. ordering site. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you heard me a minute ago, John. I called them on a Friday. In order to yeah, cross the blade and got a Monday. Look at that. So she has one, two, three layers done. Look at that. I could leave it just like that. One little one layer pass. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. That easy way out. Nice try, fat boy. Oh, no way. That's me. <laughs> oh, Shay, were you here at the beginning of the show when I, did, when I, when I showed up my finished project from yesterday? Look at that. Finished project from yesterday. I just got to oil it up now. That's not finished. You were gonna do that. You were gonna do that this morning and or last night, so it would okay be dry enough like to I, glue today. 
No, I got to glue it before I oil it. So, so, so the you thing is, is that yeah, you have to oil I, it I before you glue it. it. You were going to oil it last oil. night. No. no, 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 no. I have to glue it before I oil it. Oh, then why didn't you glue it last night? And and I also got called in earlier than I expected to. I got called in earlier than I expected to this morning, so I didn't get it to it. I didn't get to glue it until I got back. And then, so it's glued. Now I'll oil it tonight, so it'll be ready for tomorrow. Jesus. So there. You're not allowed to stop this one. Yeah, Shannon, see, I love to hear that. <laughs> uh, Larry, the answer to your question is yes, they do. At least they used to. I have one for for my Harbor Freight, which Alex told me. I bought all my Carter stuff from Alex Snodgrass at one of the woodworking shows up in Ohio some years back. And he told me that the Harbor Freight uh, 14 inch bandsaw is a clone of the Delta. So I bought the Delta stuff from him and it all bolted right on. Uh, there we go. So, Sh- like I was saying, Shannon, I, I, I like hearing that, that you tried spiral blades. You don't think you're going to use a flat blade again, but you do know how to use flat blades. So you have a better advantage than I do. <laughs> I can see the benefit of flat blades, but for what I do, there's no point in me using them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Only for puzzles. Same with me. Like... And there we go. That's better. I can see what I was doing. I could do being bigger. Oh. How many more patterns do you have to do, John? What's that? How many more, how many more patterns do you have to cut? There, there, there's six layers, so it's I guess so this is the fourth one. Two more after this. It's going to end. Please just end. So I can unplug you. Hit cancel. Talk nice to it, Nick. I'll give you something else in a minute. I'll give it the five finger friend. Four finger friend, sorry. It can meet Pam. Pam and her five, five sisters. Okay, I'm Mr. Thomas. There we go. The spirals are for the dark side. I didn't I know never the, to live in the light. I didn't know the King Candidate spiral blades are good. I didn't even know they made them. I can make that bigger. Is is twenty five bucks for five dozen flying Dutchman a good deal or not? Five dozen? Yeah. Well for Well, yeah. If if the average cost of a dozen is three fifty, then five dozen for twenty five bucks is not a good deal. Okay, because that would work at the five. That that would work at the five bucks a dozen, right? Yeah. So you're actually paying more per dozen than you would if you just ordered them. 
Yeah, you know, when I bought the gross blades, I got each dozen for two fifty five a dozen. Oh, okay. They come out like thirty four dollars, and that was including shipping. Came out to how much? Thirty four dollars. And how many dozen did you get? I got a gross. Twelve dozen. Oh yeah, that ain't bad. And he had them in two days. Billy. <laughs> I couldn't resist. And I am not sponsored by Wooden Teddy Bear. I just love the service. If you think about it, though, Billy will still get them blades quicker than John finishes a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh that hard. <laughs> uh, oh, look, he's froze up. Oh, no, there we go. Got him off. That, that was pretty freaking funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to. <clears throat> that's what I meant to do this morning and forgot. Call Wooden Teddy Bear and order some blades. Fine, I'm up and say, "Oh, he sponsor me." <laughs> no, I'm. I don't have enough. Guarantee you, there is people out there who literally just find up companies to say, "Look, sponsor me." Oh uh, well, yeah, but I, I don't have enough scroll saw videos up to do that yet. <clears throat> My. <clears throat> Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd even I'd even be able to do that. You know, what I mean, just get in touch with a company and say, "Look, let's find something." <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, Shay. Mike just finished his latest project. He cut up a sledgehammer into four <laughs> parts and made two jeweler's anvils and a and two swage blocks. Cool. <laughs> And nine unexpected nine point. hours of angle grinding. Ouch. Okay, fellas. I got to be a little bit quieter. So when you order a gross, what sizes are you guys ordering? I'll order number threes and number fives. Oh, one and one and two. One good thing they'll let you mix, mix and match. Like you want half a do six dozen of this, and then that, or four dozen of this, six of that. Do, do they ship to Canada, Herb? Yeah, but their price uh, shipping's a little high. I was wondering that. You might be cheaper sending it to someone who's in the States and then get them to ship it to you because it'll probably be cheaper that way. <clears throat> okay, so of that. Herb said threes and fives. And John said what? Oh, one, one, and two. Oh, one, one, and two. Because See, that's what I, I, I use most of. I'd only really use a one and a three. Three would be the highest I'd go. Because I use I'd use number ones for my puzzles, and number threes for my um, portraits. Okay, so oh one one two three, that's easy enough to remember. Better write it down, Billy. <laughs> it's no shit. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, though, I have thought about getting like a mixture of sizes just in case I do find myself at a point where it's like, okay, I do need to get into a tighter gap. But mm -hmm. I'd, I'd need the drill bits as well. What's the smallest I could find is one sixteenth. 
No, you got to get the uh, uh, a, a drill, in, a drill, a, a drill index for micro bits, because I believe that because my my O ones because they're point oh three o, that you need a point oh three o drill bit, which is like uh, a number sixty two, I think it is. <clears throat> it's basically for like like. like I, I use the 01 blades for doing all my detailed work on um, my small pieces, right? That, that's why I prefer using them. <clears throat> if you don't plan on doing small detailed work, but they, they, they do work nice for it. If you want to do veining in uh, uh, feathers, for example, if, if you want to add more, more feather lines or doing like a lot of hair, then they're really nice because they give you a nice design for it, right? And they're small. I have no idea what any of them sizes was. <laughs> you write it down, Nick. I'm across the pond. Oh, one, 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 two, and three. three. Okay. I think we were trying to work this out the other day about like certain sizes of things. Okay, why O2? Uh, the thinner? Yeah, they're just a smaller blade. I guess thinner cut. It's thinner and than o an O2. O1? I think it and depends O2. on what you're planning to and, do. An O2 is thinner than a 2, but it has more teeth on it. It's finer. So should I get those two? It's up to you. This is this is where Billy okay. at the end of this live end ends up with like a hundred dollar chopping cart of just blades. Okay. John oh, scroll saw blades. I have O ones, ones, twos, and threes. The threes I basically only use those for uh um two by fours because they're they're aggressive. Um my ones and twos from Eberl's. So, so I got ones and two O's. Two O and a one. <clears throat> now, the, the ones are thicker than an O one, but the twos are thinner than a two. Uh, the two O's are thinner than a two. <clears throat> but depending on the brand you get, because like I said before, my Pegas, my peg, this is a Pegas, a Pegas two O. No. Hello, Dwight. This is where it really screws you up because a Pegas 2O is different hey, than a Pegas 02. So, right? But you're, so, you're, 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 you're basically looking for a tooth count, same as when you buy a bandsaw blade. You want, you're, you're looking for more of a tooth count than anything else. Right. Because, because my, my threes are 50, 50 uh, my threes. Yeah, well, I know the higher the tooth count, the less sanding you're likely to have to do. No, you, uh, the higher the tooth count, the more sanding you do have to do, because oh, really? It, 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 it's more aggressive and 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 leaves like a uh, a curved line. Uh, for example, uh, I'll show you something real quick here. Okay. Um, well, the bandsaw blades is just the opposite. Yeah. See, so on on a spiral blade, for example. Picture this as a number three cut. Yeah. Uh, a, a three blade would have cut this. Right. Right. So you, you see all the grooves on there. Yes. Whereas, whereas an old one, it's smooth. Oh yeah, nice. <clears throat> right. Be, because because of your tooth count, the, the 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 more teeth you have, the finer the cut you're going to have. The the finer your sawdust is. Right. Like, like the, gotcha. The, this sawdust is like a powder. <clears throat> right. Jason Richeloff is in the house. Hello, Jason. Richeloff. So basically what I've got out of that is that the smaller it is, the less sanding you've got to do. No. The the smaller the blade, the finer the work, but the more teeth per blade, the less sanding you have to do. Right. Because you can get you, you can get a number one with 42 teeth, but you get a number one with 63 teeth, depending on the brand that you buy. 
Blitz. Oh crap! Now, now with with with, with the, these these penguin blade these penguin zero one blades they got fifty five teeth per inch, which like I said g- give you this this fine powder sawdust on on a hardwood, uh, but on a plywood it's more on a plywood it's it's grittier. <clears throat> you see that it's it's, it's gr- grittier. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, it's Jason Rogers, right? Uh, if you get a reverse blade, it helps. It helps helps with less sanding because it also cuts from the bottom up. But it still depends on your teeth, your tooth count, right? As well, gotcha. Clear as mud. Well, see, but 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 the thing is, buy a variety of blades, try them out, see what works best for you. Because what works for me doesn't work for Shay, doesn't work for for uh, gotcha. John Bradley, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, see, the, the thing is, is that uh, Penguin Blades are rebranded as Nequa, but they're rebranded again from that as Flying Dutchman. So what you're saying is Penguin and Flying Dutchman are the same. Mm, they are, they are, and they aren't. See, because the thing is... Uh, a penguin blade is a Nequa, is rebranded as Nequa, but Nequa rebrands it, or Flying Dutchman rebrands the Nequa blades to be a Flying Dutchman. But the thing is, it depends on where they get them supplied from. Whereas, if you if you know where the supplier is from, like I know that my my penguin blades used to be Pulger blades, and I got them from uh, from Advanced Machinery. So I I know I know that I can trust those blades. <laughs> Unless you can get them directly from Germany, the real blade. It's all economics, man. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a headache. I've already got one. <laughs> I got to say, there's something similar. This is how my head goes when I'm talking to Stace. Dinner, who to who, what? What? <laughs> With that, why my head's messed up now, trying to work all that is, it's exactly the same when I'm talking to Stace. <laughs> 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 That wasn't nice, Nick. She's asleep. True, true as it might have been, it wasn't nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Billy, does Alex have a web page and can I send a money order? Uh, Alex works for Carter, or if he doesn't own it outright. Um Let me see what I can find, Larry. That's why I'm knocking up these designs. I ain't even got the wood for them. Didn't you order that that package of wood last week, though? (laughs) Uh, I ordered a pack of five, eight, two... (laughs) No, I free that. And uh, last week the other week. It's coming from China. And I was looking at um, a pack of A2. I it's them, it's yeah. saying hello to my bands, I mean my scroll saw blades. Probably ship being shipped from the same place probably. Mm-hmm. Once I order them. Oh, Lordy. That's what I'm doing. Trying to wake you, wake you myself.
Okay, Carter's in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I swear I've just heard Mario. Oh, there's the scroll to pattern. So I'm gonna get lost. I don't have too many designs. No, Larry, just look up Carter Bandsaw Products and go to their website. They'll have everything you need. Uh, Alex works for them, so. Jason said, can I join the panel? You been drinking, Jason? <laughs> sure, Jason. Uh, of course he has. <laughs> He's drinking Modelo and Coors Light. He said earlier. Stop that shit, Herb. I'm oh, sorry, Billy. I'm only working on two hours. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I swear, Herb, you're on UK time. The one, Nick? I swear you're on UK time. I know I am. Hello, Russ. How you doing this evening? Russ out in the chat. Hello, Russ. Yeah, he's he out is out. The, he's out in the chat. Oh, I was just about to say no. We're fought with all side, just to confuse you. Yeah, I'm just trying to get in tune. That way, uh, when I come over there, I won't be sleepy. <laughs> I'll be ready to go. Oh, I should try and do a sonic one. I haven't seen any of those. So I know my eldest, he likes sonic. Hmm. So I could easily knock up a Sonic, Sonic one, and actually just give it to him. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah, I like to try and do stuff that people haven't done or that I've not seen many of. Mm -hmm. 
because I'm pretty w sure. W wouldn't that be so Nick the Hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> so Nick. So Nick the Hedgehog. Hello, so I'm Jason. pretty sure the one pr project that I'm going to do that no one's actually done before. I believe that no one's done it before. Could be wrong. Hey, oh, Jason, well, I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Howdy. You're, you're so small. I know. I'm sorry. I'm on my phone. Uh, my son <laughs> has my computer tonight, so. He didn't get it. Looking good, know. John. <laughs> good level's done. Yeah. Ooh. Camera A, camera B, I can. No, my son has my my computer tonight. So. It, it it might be better if you turn your phone sideways. Might not, but it might. Look, about yeah, one, done. Look at that. Two, one one more side. layer to go. Two more layers to go. Oh, two more layers to go. My bad. Yeah, it won't hold very much that big. Hold on, is that all it is? It's just like a layer. Uh huh. Yep. And the uh, the thing is, is that when it when it lines up, like like the uh, uh, the dowels, the the little dowel dowel holes right. there, when when they line up, they they it, lo it looks like a f one one full piece of dowel running all the way through it. Right. And it, it looks like it's ribbon wrapped, basically. Yep. Right. Just like I'm actually have to try that. Looks like it's wasket boven. Yeah, that's why I downloaded those because I want to do some of those too. And uh, um, Charles has a bunch. Of, I think Charles has about fifteen or twenty different baskets on his. Uh, I think he has a skull and a heart and all kinds of cool different ones on his. Cool. Don't say the skull. Don't say the skull because I know Stacy's going to say to me, "Get the skull and do it." Because <laughs> <laughs> she's got a thing about skull. So now I get two more to do. Look at that ain't shade. This may be my second project in two days. Ain't, ain't no step for a stepper. Which one did you finish the other day? Yesterday. The mother's day. One. The rose. The mother rose. Oh, oh, the one that's not finished. <laughs> oh my god. It's finished cutting. <laughs> But he's not going to have you back if he keeps it at this rate. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so, Jason, I'm, tell us. I'm what have you, you been up I'm to? Trying to be nice. Uh, oh, there I goes Jason. There, here comes Jason. You probably hit a button. Uh, did you hit the wrong you button hit the there, wrong Jason? Button. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, he was saying? He's off again. <laughs> He's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. Yeah. At least if he goes back on again. On your mark. Get set. Black. Steve, what are you uh, Steve, what are you busy doing that you can't come on the show? He drinking beer. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah and, and also with, with the one entry hole it doesn't matter what size well it doesn't matter what size hole you use for what size blade because i i drilled a quarter inch hole on this <laughs> that's right uh -huh. steve said nothing Gosh, drink your beer. Uh, Mike said I'm off to Jay's for 30 minutes before bedtime. Well, I don't think Jay's having a show. All right, Mike, uh, have fun. I, I think it was, he was already on, wasn't he? He got a lady that don't work. Oh, really? Something froze up. Yeah, because I thought he was already on earlier. Uh Oh, that must have been yesterday. I was looking at. Well, I guess Jason's not coming back on. I guess. 
Steve C said he was out mowing the lawn when you started. Well, I thought. Uh... Oh, yeah, Hello, that's Chris Nealon. I'm good. Jay is on right now. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Herb sent you a, uh, an email. You can come in if you want, Steve. I sent it to him in Messenger. Uh, message. Oh. You mean text? Yeah. Text, message, tomato, tomato. A message gotcha. text. Because I'm drinking coffee and watching scrolling. I'm making a left turn. Um, making another left turn. Hey, boys and girls, you know what time it is? It's time for... <laughs> And that's when y'all lost Herb. <laughs> Steve said, yes, he did. But I figured you needed a couple of people in the chat. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, I'll be jumping that soon so you can have my spot, Steve. There's, there, there are, there's like 14 people watching, Steve. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. And and they're not all on the panel, and they're not all in the chat. Yeah, because it's two thirty-five for you, Nick. And they're all on Facebook. They're all on YouTube. Believe it or not. Oh, you you lost your Facebookers. Yep. <clears throat> it's a shame. I got tired of watching Facebook. John lost his Facebookers. Bookers. That's all right. I'm sure they'll join him back in anyway. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. All right. One more. Oh, two more. Two more. Two more. Well, it depends on how big I want this. Mike says, and back, the, uh, he did a short live and his leg broke down, I think. Yes. The the uh, one advantage of Steve Good patterns is because be, because he sends them in PDFs, you can actually change the sizes. Well, depending on the program you have, you can change right. the size of these. Because I, I could have made this longer and narrower, and it right. would still keep the same profile. So it would be it's pretty cool. That's why I like them. Oh, Johnny, you're blinding me. I come on doing interrogation here. With John's lights on his pretty headset. Why do you feel like you're being interrogated? He's flashing, a light on. <laughs> he's, flash, he's flashing everybody. Oh, Johnny B. He's muted. Uh, yeah. I'm ignoring him. Yeah, he's muted. He's, My headset's not working. Uh, I'm not, pretty sure uh, he's, he keeps flashing at us. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah, he is. But, but he obviously doesn't know his Morse code because right, what, okay, so what he sent us was crap. Hello, Mimi. She's cutting and watching. Hey, everybody. Hey, Steve. Hey, hey, Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Hey, Steve. Hey, Johnny. Hi, Steve. Would you say you were going to bed, Nick? I'm not yeah. trying to run you off. I just. Yeah, you are. I've heard it all before. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, you are. No. <laughs> I was playing me, really. <laughs> I just thought I heard something. I know. You know, if, if Stace was here, she, you know, really be like, no, no, stay. You know, you know, you stay. Me, so sorry, you're off, Nick. Come on. Are you leaving, Nick? Or are you staying? <laughs> no, I am off. Should I oh, stay no or should I go now? Oh, you're leaving? Well, thanks for being here. Yeah. And, uh, Hey, well, everybody in the chat the there. If, if you so haven't already, well. go go check out the Flaming Turner and Stace Makes and go check out them on YouTube and subscribe and get no, notifications for them. Sub to, don't sub to me because I'm definitely not dying my beard pink if I get to a thousand subs. I don't. Oh, yes, you will. No. <laughs> You're not dying your beard pink what? The, the, the Stace has brought me into something that if I... As soon as I hit a thousand subs, that uh, my beard's being dyed pink as, as long as my, as well as my hair. Oh, cool! Yeah. And if he gets twenty-five, he gets the whole multi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, right. I'm I'll, get, I'll get with you is. tomorrow, Nick. See you later. All right. See you next night, buddy. Later. Have a good one. Bye. What have you been up to, Steve? No, no, I took a few minutes earlier, more than one. But I thought you were started, and uh, by the time I got in here, you had a full panel, and I just figured I'd hang out in the chat for a spell. There's always room for you, Steve. Oh, thanks, Johnny. I can't do this oh. show without you, man. No. I appreciate that. I'm sure you guys can get back. No. I've seen it. I've seen it. No, no. Herb always needs help keeping me in line. That's right. We gotta have some type of eye candy over here because me and Billy look like pure hell. John's off there in the back. You can't see him. He's hidden. Yeah, and Johnny B's got the lights off, so he can't. That's who I was talking about. Oh. You to try this again, Jason? What happened? <laughs> well, um. My my son has our uh, laptop that we usually use. Yep. So I was trying on my phone at first, and it didn't like it. And now I'm trying his laptop because apparently it's not as good as ours. I don't, I don't know. But thank you for having me. So what have you been up to? What have you been doing? What have you been cutting? I cut diamond plate aluminum. Because of you. It's all your fault, John. <laughs> I like to be an inspiration to other people. And I killed two blades in about two minutes. But I got the job done that I needed to do. It was yep. horrible and scary. <laughs> uh, was it because you're diamond plate was too thick or i'm pretty sure it was blade choice so what'd you end up changing to nothing i just i cut it and got it done <laughs> oh <that's> cool <laughs> it, it was horrible but it, it did the job oh, and, wow. and honestly though in reality it, it worked but i i also um found that um comparable to wood the one thing that I can all I always got to stress with being on a scroll saw is work with your blade. Don't push it. Yep. Don't push or force the work. Don't bend the blade. And with the metal, I was a little worried, and I might have been a little forceful with it. But um, I found that if you let the blade do its job. It was it was way nicer, way easier. For sure, for sure. Uh, hey Russ, how's it going? Everything. Let the hippie in here. Ah, snuck in the back door. <laughs> hey Russ. Hey Russ. And, uh, you gotta watch you guys like me. We come in the back door. <laughs> how's it going, oh, Russ? you sure did, did you? Larry's uh, Larry's taking off. Larry Aldridge. All right, Larry, Night, take Larry. care. Hi, Larry. So what you been up to there, Rusty? Not a whole blast of nothing. JJ E's in the house. Hello, JJ. Hello, Hello JJ. JJ. Hi, JJ. It's been one of those days where my wife says, "Yeah, you didn't get off the couch," and she's right. I, I barely got off the couch. It rained all pretty much all day. It's going to yeah, be worse tomorrow. Too. Had some pretty good thunderstorms. We're supposed to get that uh, late tonight or into tomorrow morning for sure. My wife said it's supposed to rain here tomorrow too, so we'll see. Yeah, I've never liked this. Yeah, this whole this whole uh, week is going to be uh, off again, on again, rain. Oh, My wife is telling me I she, she didn't do anything today either, and uh, she said I'm not like that. <laughs> She's I, not. I did. I spent all day in the shop. Yeah, you got you got a good deal out of it then. That rainy day feeling makes everybody want to stay home and do nothing. Yeah. Who was hollering ouch? Hello, midnight. That's my wife in the back. She was getting up off the bed. Oh. Well, I know that rainy days and Mondays always get me down. They always get yeah. me down too, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello, Mike. Oh, by the way, that's a wood joke because it was done by the Carpenters. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> that's a lot. Just begun. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's good, one. good one, John. <laughs> we'll give that one to you. That's allowable since it's a wood joke. Oh, Lordy. All right, well, what am I looking at since I came late? A basket. Oh, yeah, I saw the, saw the thing. That's right. I I'm about seeing it. a Steve Good pattern basket going yep. on. That's yeah. what it is. I He's see now. I remember seeing the title. He's three quarters now. done. Can you believe that, Ruff? I did. What'd you say? He's three quarters done. Can you believe that? Well, I don't mean nothing. He still has a quarter to go, and he ain't going to get done. What? He's going to get done, but he's going to get done. Unbelievable. These good baskets, though, are actually pretty cool the way they're laid out. Mm -hmm. I was just looking at a uh, at a, a YouTube video earlier, and uh, it was a guy doing it from England, I think. And uh, he was doing uh, some lathe work, and he made one of those uh, uh, air, uh, bladeless fans. You know, made it out of wood that you see, like the Dyson fans, just a round circle in it. And, uh, and uh, he made that out of uh, segmented blocks and Good stuff. Impressive. And uh, you talk about come out looking nice. Didn't cool. Pask make that? Do what? Wasn't that Pask? Pask makes that's him. That was yeah. him. You yeah. saw it too? Yeah. That was a dang nice uh little little fan. The way he come up with the jigs to make the uh the slots in the in the bottom base uh yeah. to let the air come in that it could shoot. Oh man, that was pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty talented. Very talented. I, I enjoyed it. That's a good video. Now I'm seeing all the panel pretty good, but is John's camera going slow now or is it just me? It's just it you. It could be my internet. Every now and then it looks like it's buffering, but it's not. I think it's the synchronization rate, or the frame rate versus the speed he's running at. Yeah. It makes it look like it's freezing up. Way to get technical, man. Sorry. Um, <laughs> just wonder if it's just me or not. That's all. Damn it, Billy. We're woodworkers, not scientists. <laughs> <laughs> so Billy, Billy's are. that odd job that is both. <laughs> yeah, some of us have said some of us are. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot quieter than the pizza pans, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I this would a thing. This wouldn't even bother Shay. Oh my goodness. Shay says it's his chicken pecker makes it look funny. <laughs> oh, she boy. finally got a good one in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Shay, told, Shay told Johnny he had a chicken. Shay. Funny. <laughs> what are you talking Shay? about? You got him, Shay. <laughs> You're supposed to leave that in IMs and not right. put it out on, on everybody else's <laughs> We're allowed to talk about the chicken peckers? Uh, uh, oh, shoot. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm still Actually, laughing at that, Jay. Actually, I used my scroll saw today, though, but not for a scroll saw. <laughs> I feel really ashamed. But um, uh, the bear came to our house the other night and wrecked all of our bird feeders and Alistair. took our Alistair. Uh, bent over our poles and broke some of our suet feeders and stuff like that. So. Uh, Today, I decided to 
build a little platform and have a buffet plate that I'd put out there. So I had uh, on top of a piece of oak that I had, I had to put rails around it, you know, to put the, you know, the feed into, and I just use it uh, for a quick cutoff saw, but I did get to use my stroll saw today. <laughs> they, uh, you you know, right, you, could, they... you could shoot the bear and then not have to worry about that. Um, actually, my neighbor does with pellets all the time in the ass. And that just pisses them off. That, yeah, that, that ain't going to work. Away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't do it. I, I like seeing the bear. He's, he's, he's got to be at least 300 plus pounds. Black bear? I, I, like, I like seeing him. Now, he's been Black bear or brown bear? Um, uh, he's a uh, black bear. Okay, you're 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 better uh, off with the black bear than you are brown bear. Yep. Yeah, it's just a no. It's just a cuddly black big ball of fluff that he doesn't know any better. Yeah, I've actually been on the porch with him and told him to go away, and he's he's good. He just, but he's he's lazy and hungry and looking for food. We got a grizzly Adams here, folks. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Go out and walk in the woods with him, do you? No. <laughs> but I walked out and told him to get the hell off my porch or I'm going to. No, I give him, no, I give him no, no long walks in the midnight? Come on, Jason. <laughs> he did have the big moon, but he didn't I show meant, up for that. Yeah, uh, midnight. I meant moonlight, you dummy. Yeah, no kidding. You'd have to drink more beers to be able to make that, buddy. I uh, yeah, that drink a lot more beers. You don't want to hold me in. Night, <laughs> in the moonlight. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Thanks, Herb. We'll go walking. Yep. <clears throat> yep. When somebody new would come up to Alaska, we'd tell them, you can't be in Alaska until you've Killed a grizzly and made love to an Eskimo. <laughs> one day, well, it's, better, one, it's better than the other way around. One, one, one day, one day, this one day, one day, this new guy came back, and he was just—it it, it looked like death warmed over. Uh, blood everywhere. Man, what happened to you? I'm a real Alaskan. <laughs> oh, yeah? What'd you do? I did what you guys told me to do. And what was that? I killed me an Eskimo and made love to a grizzly. <laughs> 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 oh, I saw that coming as soon as it started. Yep. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Billy, you have been in your shop. You doing good? Yes. Nice to hear, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I still get a little tired, and I still hurt some. But, and if I, <clears throat> sometimes I still get a little short of breath, but. It's it. It's coming. Your new bandsaw. I just have to back off and take it easy. New yes. Is pretty badass. Yeah, thank you. I really like it. Put that to good use. Yep, I like that new scroll saw too. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I see Shaylee got a new scroll saw. Well, yeah, but she went like first class new scroll I saw. I know, right? You had to show John up. That's all. <laughs> show John how to teach people. You gotta have you gotta have the right tools. <clears throat> well, you need the right tool to do the right job. <clears throat> but I, I don't. You can still have a, pre, a a crappy machine and still do a good job on it. It's on how you use your blades, right? Honestly. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Nobody said you had a crappy piece of machinery, though. And it and it's and it's why I bought uh, the scroll saw I did was because it's better than what I had, and 
What do you I want don't. To- I don't know if I'm gonna be worth a damn at it, or if I'm even really gonna enjoy it. So I didn't want to spend Seiko or Hagner money when that mm-hmm. being the case. You know what I mean? Mm. So what'd you end up getting? I didn't, I guess I didn't see the scroll saw side of it. Oh yeah, I got a new Delta. Oh yeah, what uh, seven twenty eight? Uh, whatever that one yeah, Shaley has, whatever, is. whatever mine is, I don't know. Yeah, it's that. It's the new model Delta. Looks just like the. I say looks DeWalt. just. It's basically no, a, a DeWalt seven eighty eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 788. Yeah, they got like six numbers in that damn thing. Five, six numbers. Yeah. So the new Delta. Yeah, Delta, not DeWalt. It's a Delta. Nice. <clears throat> Delta Dawn, what's that bubblegum bob you have on? <laughs> well, congratulations, sir. That new equipment's always fun. I love new toys. Yes, thank you. Got me a new pressure pot, too. I'm digging that. <laughs> you mean I'd be happy if I got a new wife? Got a you new one? Did, you did not. <laughs> No, you I wouldn't. said, uh, would I be happy if I had well, one? <laughs> well, we'd all be happy if we had a new one. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I wouldn't trade mine in for the world. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> mine, <laughs> mine gets better aim. Uh, then I might have to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, what happened to Nick? He would have been. He would have probably told us about this. <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of which, um, not to jump on John's stuff, but while it's very, it's not very often that I get to talk to all you guys all at once. I know Charles uh, lost his dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still, um, has anybody been? talking with him or do we know what's going on i haven't heard from him yeah i haven't either well he was he's on getting, uh west of Shirley the other day what was that thursday oh yeah, was he he's yeah. getting over it but yep. it, you know it takes time well yeah it takes time well he's he's getting getting over it but i i want to see him come back out here and play mm. with us you know wasn't he in the chat last night in here john uh no uh, but mm-hmm. I know, uh, so, so so it would have been uh, Thursday night that he was on West's show with us, and right. uh, he's doing pretty good. He's 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 basically doing a lot more patterns now again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> but he's gonna well, try and get up and try, try try and get up and do a live again. He's not sure when though. Yeah, he's he's a he really is a pattern guy. He really enjoys doing that. So. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I had that confused. I, I, he was in uh, uh, Stacy's chat. I yes. Guess. Is where I is where I saw him. I knew I saw him yesterday. In- oh, he's, he's, and, he's still and trying Shay to. Said, Shay said he had surgery too. Yeah, he's trying to get over that. Yeah. Oh, and I remember. Both of those happened at the same time. Yeah, I remember him saying about the surgery too. That's right. I just worry about him. I think about him. I don't see him that often. You know, I don't see all you guys that often, but a few of you I do. But. He's he seems to be pretty kept back and kind of quiet. Just figured I'd ask. That's all. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah. Worry about our buddies. You know? Yeah. Well, he he gets like this sometimes. He'll go off and do patterns for a while, and you don't hear from him, and then he comes back. And was it you, Russ? I saw that got a new CNC. Nope. Who was it? I saw somebody lately just got a new CNC tool. Can't remember who it was. I'm looking, but I haven't got another one yet. Uh, There was somebody. Hold on. See, for some reason, I thought it was you, Russ, only because I thought it was Rusty something. Uh-uh. It may not have been you then. I'm sorry for confusing that. It's I all right. It was- you find one you want to send me, I'll be glad to take it. Long as it ain't Doggone an X card. It. 
No, I'd still like one, but I, I got offered one not long ago. But the one that got offered to me was literally a weird setup that had like a homemade two by four frame going mm -hmm. on with it. And I was like, no, nope, mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> well, if you don't mind making your own. Uh, making them out of plywood, which is a pretty strong machine. Get get one of Dave Gatton's Gatton CNCs. They're, right. I was they're, just gonna they're, say they're pretty talk, good. Talk, I was just gonna it? say talking about CNCs. How's Dave doing? Has anybody talked to him lately? Yeah, Dave's back to doing his uh, coffee show in the morning. He's, was it Ken Moon that got a new CNC? Ken Moon got one a while back. It was I, I don't remember which one he got. If he got a Gatton or if he no, it wasn't a Gatton. That's something else. X he had it, maybe. He ha had or has a Gatton. Mm -hmm. uh, but he, it was. I don't he, think. He, he didn't. Uh, there was something about putting it together or something. He didn't want to have to build it. Yeah. That's what it was. He didn't want to. Have, he looked at the Gattons, but didn't want to have to build it. He wanted one pre. But was it Ken? I, who was it? I talked. I'm thinking it might have been Ken Moon. Well, even if you got. Uh, one of the the uh, the metal ones, like from Axiom or someplace like that, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have to put it together. It's going to come oh, in yeah. good form, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but you don't have to build it. Build it. No, uh, Dave's uh, his Gatton CNC, and I'm not. I don't have it. I have the, his Garage Works, which he stopped making. He was preferred if people would buy the the uh, the plywood machine because it's even stronger than the metal machine that I have. Uh -huh. And uh, but he sends you a kit, I think for two hundred and all the parts are all the wood parts are cut except for the straight ones. Right. You know, if you can cut a, a straight line, you can cut the gantry and and, and the rails. Right. And uh, he cuts all the other parts that are hard and 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 uh, sends them to you in kit form, and you just got to buy the electronics and and all the rest of it. He sends you the links for all of that and, and all. Of it. So you buy it at your own leisure. And uh, but it's a damn strong machine because he's got a video of him sitting on top of his gantry, right, with his feet off the table, sliding that thing back and forth, and there's absolutely no give whatsoever. And he's around really? 200 pounds. Yeah, he's sliding up and down, and that thing is strong. Yeah, there was. I, there's a guy, a friend of Patrick's. Mm -hmm. I've been in with him a couple of times. He's mm -hmm. got a Gatton. Mm -hmm. And he, he was literally hanging off of it to show me how strong it was. It's strong. It's a strong yeah. machine. It's stronger than the metal one that I've got. So you're telling me I should actually double check the one that I got offered, though. I don't know what you got. Yeah, I don't know what uh, you were I, offered. I, if it I was a, if it was a Gatton, I would take it. If I it don't, was a Gatton, I, I can't remember the name of it to be honest with you, but um, I do know that it was like timber framed type. Uh, it was wood. Mm -hmm. He built the whole setup. Mm -hmm. um, he said it worked amazing. Yeah. But I was kind of thrown off about, I thought it would be a little bit more, less home if built. It, if it's a Gatton, you're in good shape. Now, the only problem is you'd have to buy this the software to make it work. Right, right. right. You no, know, that's not stuff ain't cheap. Two sets of software. You need that. control that's, software, that's, and you need you need cam software, CAD cam that's, software. That's no different than you know 3D printing and everything. Now you got to mm -hmm. buy all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Chris Nealon said, "Is the Shark CNC any good?" Some people like them. Some people don't. There are several sharks I saw listed on the marketplace in Facebook that that are for sale but they want a you know fairly good price for them too yeah. they're not they're not cheap yeah i remember I when the sharks I first come out and they well. were i remember when the sharks first come out and they were given like two thousand away to like the first people that wanted them because they basically wanted them to give them out as trials to people and give feedback on them and i don't know if they're they made improvements on them or anything else but you know i would have loved yeah. to been one of the first guys to have one I know they did that with the X cars, but I, I didn't know they did it with the sharks as well. I know they did it with the X cars, and I know several people. Charles had one; he 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 sold it. He couldn't figure it figure it out, and and I know did Sterling it, Davis had one, and I I heard he ended up Pat, going across the Pat, Patrick had one too, didn't he? 
Patrick has, has actually got, he might have, but I, I know that he's got uh, one of Dave Gatton's garage work CNC's he's never took yeah. out of the box. And Ashley had one. Ashley had one. I don't know if she yeah, still she, does. She had an X carve. She doesn't mm -hmm. anymore. Mm. Uh, or I don't think she does. Yeah. I uh I I wouldn't want an X car. I wouldn't want one of the shape pokos. They just they're just not where it's at. But uh, they're good for somebody that doesn't know anything, and wants a you know a cheap price to get started and learn on. Then you move up to something better. But uh, you know with the with the little one that I got, it's a four by four and it does everything I wanted to do. My garage works. I I, I don't have any problems with it. Is Marks a Gatton? Marks is a Gatton. That's what I thought. Yeah. He built one of the Dave Gatton's original sidewinders way back in the day where you actually had to cut every part. Yeah. And, and Hobbies uh, is a Gatton too, isn't it? Hobbies got a Gatton, but he also has a Cam Master, which is uh, uh, okay. more of an industrial machine. It's really a strong, strong machine. But he does have the Gatton. The big one that he built was the Gatton. Right. That he hangs on the wall. Right. And uh, yeah, his. It's Colossus. Ho Ho Hobby's vertical one's a guy, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the Colossus. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he that's built the one that uh, six by six. A few months ago. That's as big as big as he can make that one. And it's huge. But they're they're good machines. And and for what what you can do with them, it's it's unbelievable how strong they are. So they're they're good machines. They're they're fairly accurate, but they are hobby machines. They're not made for commercial work. You know, or industrial type stuff. They're they're hobby machines, but he's a, it's a damn good one. Steve, your chickens are good. Yeah, thanks, brother. <laughs> so I got kind of a dumb question about that. You Don't do it. Don't do it. As, you said it's as big as he can make it. Yeah. Would it, wouldn't he be able to make it as big as he wanted to and just uh, uh -huh. change the software? Tell it. No. No. Mm -mm. No, no, because this uh, uses uh, lead screws and they come in six foot lengths. Yeah. And that's as far as you can take that machine. But when I tell you that six foot wide, six foot long, you can put any piece of plywood you want up there and, and cut the whole sheet just about. You, well, you could. Uh, it's got the width. To, to, to put a full sheet of plywood up yeah. with room to spare. And it also has um, the length if you wanted to, because you can tile. And once you get done cutting as far as you can cut, you shove it up, put it back on, finish up where you left off. And uh, that's called tiling. So I can do that with mine. I, I got a four by four and I can almost fit uh, a, a four by uh, four by four sheet on there. And, uh, but if I had a four by eight, I can't quite, I don't have quite the width to fit a four by eight sheet on. I, I lack about a, a, an inch or two being able to put a four by sheet on there because it's not quite wide enough. But, uh, had I gotten the, the, uh, the, uh, the Gatton, I could have made it as, as wide as I needed it. And then if I wanted it short and depth, I could have done that as well and just tiled, but I don't, I don't have the room for a four by eight machine yet, which I'm I'm working on, trying to get me a, a another shop built where I can just throw the CNC machines in in the, in the new shop. That's my plan. If my if my wife don't get mad at me and uh, <laughs> give me the boot, you know. Yeah. But uh, that's my plan. So, do you mean tiling as in like printing, like when you print no. off tiles, you do? Well, when I say tiling, the sheet that you're on, it'll go on to the next one. When I say tiling, I mean where you have a smaller machine and you'll put this the piece of wood on the machine and it sticks out past the edge, the front lip of your of your machine. They, they got you got wood sticking off because you can't fit it on there. It's not big enough. So you'll tile it. When I mean tiling it, you'll you'll Set yourself some dowel pins in there. You cut dowel holes. And once you get that piece of wood cut as far as your machine will reach, you'll you'll 
pull the machine out of the way, you'll slide your piece of material in further so it hangs off the, the back of the machine. Reset it. And you reset it right in the same spot where your dial holes fit, right at the dial pins, and your machine will pick up. And that software is set up to do that uh, wow. with, with the uh, the Vectric software, which is what I use. A lot, of, cool. lot of us use the Vectric software. And you can tile with that, and it just picks up right where it left off, and it, it carries on until it's through. Kind of like cool. printing paper, but different. But same same type of idea. Same where, same type of scenario, probably. But that's what it's called. It's called tiling, or indexing. But tiling is what normally it's called. But they got a lot of good machines out there, a lot of strong ones <clears throat> that are accurate. And the one I'm looking at, I called, talked to two people. I talked to a, a company in China, which I had good reviews on. And I talked to a company out here in Texas and got a quote from them for real, a similar, almost, almost identical machine which was the one in China to get it from there to the port of Houston, which is the closest seaport to me, that uh, it would be like 14 and a half thousand. I called yeah. this Texas company and they're just up in East Texas, right above me, you know, you know two or three hours or more, just a little bit over that. And, uh, I called them, talked to them, got a quote from them for almost the same exact machine. And they wanted $30,000 for it by the time all was said and done. And I said, well, y'all are just a little bit out of my price range. Too bad I can't go Texan on this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I, I phoned. I, get it from well, Texas. That's a little much. I, con I contacted Laguna because they were having a big CNC sale last month. And I phone just asked for some information stuff, and yeah, they're expensive. Like uh, the for for a four by six table, yeah, with uh, a multi change head and blah 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 and everything oh, else, yeah. all the software and, and a downdraft and all the vacuum and everything else. I oh, think yeah. it was going to be uh, twenty four grand. Yeah, they're expensive. Wow. Damn. Well, the one I've been looking at. Uh, I've got uh, the guy that I get my my 3D models from. He's uh, he's over in Moldova, uh, part of the U in the Ukraine area, and he's got several of the uh, the Chinese models in his shop. And I mean, he's got a huge shop, and uh, he really likes those. Uh, they're, they're from Blue Elephant over there in China, and there's some really good machines, but. Uh, I went to talking to them, and uh, the one I had, had had them quote me was a uh, a four by eight table. With uh, they wanted to, you know, with the vacuum, and I said I don't really need the vacuum. She said, "Well, what we could do is we'll give you the the vacuum table, and at at a later date you can purchase the uh, the vacuum pump if you want." And I said, "At the same price as a regular table." And uh, I said, now nah, you can probably do that, but I'm, I'm, nah, I probably wouldn't use it anyway. But uh, I told him, I said, I wanted a, a rotary attachment on the side of the machine that extended the whole length of the table. So it'd be roughly eight feet. And so I could turn objects on the side of the, the, uh, the regular table for the CNC because I have some things in mind. I've got a pattern for the... Uh, the presidential, the Oval Office, the presidential presidential desk, with mm -hmm. all those carvings on it, and right. it, it's got rotary, uh, it's got round legs in the front, and it's done on the rotary machine, and I've got the pattern for that, and I've are always you, loved that damn desk. Are you yeah. talking about a Rose engine Rose or an engine. ornamental lathe? Well, it's it's not really that; it's just a regular lathe, but it will. Right. It will do a router uh, lathe you're talking about, right? Yeah, just it's yeah. just a router. It's it's a router attachment that you can. Uh, even Dave Gatton's got a, a small, and Mark Lindsay has a small uh, router attachment setup that they can put on oh, top of their CNC, oh, gotcha. and they can and it just goes back and forth and cuts yeah. whatever it needs to cut. But uh, 
they're limited to the size that they have. And uh, I saw another machine that had one that was eight foot long. A place in Texas had a machine that had the rotary that on the on the side of the table, right on the side of the table is a, is the rotary. And you can stretch it out as far as you need to up to the length of the table. So you'd, you'd end up losing probably about uh, nine or ten inches on both sides from the length of the table because of the head right. and the tailstock. So uh, that's what I was I, I got a quote for. And uh, <clears throat> it was a I asked for him for a 300 millimeter, which I can't remember the, the inches on that, but uh, size head and four jaws. And so they ended up quoting me with with shipping to to Houston, uh, fourteen thousand five hundred and something, which is half the price of the one in Texas here. And it uses a spindle, a water cooled spindle, mm -hmm. and stuff. It's a nice, I mean, a flat nice machine. Everything was included, everything you needed except for the bits. <laughs> And uh, I already have the software that I needed. I didn't need to get any software and stuff. So that's the one I'm looking at. That's the one I'm really looking at, really looking at it hard. But the problem comes in, you got to do it. You got to do something with it to afford that kind of money. True that. Yeah. And my wife says, you don't even use the one you got. I said, I do when I want to. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I told her, I'm not at the point right now of, of uh, wanting to make a business out of it. You know, I, I like doing what I'm doing. And I sell some, I give some away, and I keep some. That's that's just how it is at this point. But if I was to get that, then uh, I would have to make it more of a business and, and sell stuff. I have to get Steve to make me a website. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure he'd be happy with that. I got a bunch of models I could put up there. Well, fellas, I'm gonna get off here. All right, Herb. Have I'm a good night, dude. Fall asleep. All right. Yeah, well, night. we was just we was gonna leave you by yourself if you did. Good night, Herb. <laughs> All right, I'll take care. <laughs> good night, Herb. Good night, buddy. I'll, I'll see you in a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, when he wakes back up again. Yeah, poor guy. Only sleeping a couple hours at a time. So I know it. That's that's nice, John. I I like that pattern. Though. Those that's are cool. cool. Yeah, that's it is cool. Mike said he's gone. He's uh, heading off to bed. Night, Mike. Good night, Mike. Good night, Joker. Good night, Mike. Now so, there we go. I, now you just gotta grew it together. <coughs> I gotta. Well, I, I'm gonna do some sanding on it, but I, yeah, yeah. just glue it together. Um, get, get the but I am gonna. Out. I. I am going to make a top for it as well. Um, I don't. So the top I'm going to make. Do you think I should make it the same size as this one? Uh, but I'm going to put rabbits in it so it'll it'll sit down into it. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So so do, do you think yeah. I should make it the same size as the top or have a little bit of a lip on it? If you put, are you going to put a, a handle on the top of it to pull it out? Yeah, I'm going to. All right, then I wouldn't worry. So, I'd make it the same size and uh, just yeah. have an index where it sits right in and just pick it up at the top. Yeah, make it so the same. The same size then, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's my. So thought. I'll do that later. Oh, I see. You're doing the lid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would make it either. Well, not smaller for well, sure. You know what? Either the no. same you know size what? or a little bit of hangover. I, I don't really. You I don't what? really like I'll, the uh, hangover idea myself. I'll, like, I'll make it with the hangover. Uh, I'll make it with a hangover first, and then if 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 it doesn't look good, I know I'll ask you guys' opinion, and then I'll just shave the sides off. Not a big sure. deal. Yeah. yeah. But once you decide, that's it. I'm not. That's, that's <laughs> I'm right. making one. <laughs> I'll, I'll make one decide. oversized. <laughs> I'll make one oversized because I'm gonna get to put rabbits on it one time. Make yeah. Sure it fits in there. Shave it down and then add to it if you need to. Yeah, shave it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it kind of looks nice with a with a lip on it, though. Ah, not to me. Yeah. Nah, I like it. I like it flush. Yeah, I like it flush too. Yeah. Or I don't need a lid on it at all. Let's leave it the way it is. No, it looks better with a lid on it. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, so there we I go. Love, Look at that. I love how intricate, though, a simple design can be. That makes you yeah, wonder exactly. how he or, thinks about all them. You know what I mean? He comes or, up one every other day. No, Steve Good's designs are great, though. He does yeah. such easy patterns that really look intricate. You know, John, you I'm, could cut a. You how wide is that? I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me. How wide yeah. is that? Uh, how wide is that cut? What is that? Three quarters of an edge, inch or a half inch? The, the edge is half inch. Okay. Uh, you could cut a three sixteenths inch rabbit inside the top of that and cut the lid smaller and set it in. Yeah, you could do that too. Oh, that that would be actually that would be pretty intricate. That would be nice. No, well, then I gotta set up my router, and then I gotta freaking. <laughs> <chisels. laughs> <laughs> what you're talking about cutting a rabbit either way? <sighs> yeah, like, I, cutting a rabbit on cutting a uh, cutting a rabbit on the lid is easier because I just do that on my um, on my on my uh, table saw. <clears throat> My data stack set up. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine, I'll I'll put a I'll, I'll put a rabbit on here. I'll, I'll put Mac a rabbit. Says here. there go the excuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Doug. Yeah, I don't look Doug like the same with this at all. Blah, home. blah, blah. Just set your table side for four cuts. <laughs> <laughs> quarter, quarter. Cut it good. Hey, Doug. Fine. I'll cut that out. He said, rabbit the top flush all the way around. I mean, there's definitely never anything wrong with no. I mean, there, there's there's design, you know. Yeah, well, the simplest way would be to make it flush uh, or overhang and cut rabbits on his table saw, like he was saying. That would be the simplest way. And and Billy, since he's got his router out, he might as well do a round over on the top of the lid. Right, I was thinking that. Oh too. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that too. <laughs> it would look really nice. Hey, pick, okay, pick one. Pick one. Well, no, you know what? Because, because the, the thing is, the the top. I was gonna run uh, a, a Roman OG bit around the top anyway, because yeah. I I like the Roman OG bit. Yes, regardless. So, <laughs> Doug said, doing what you're doing now will lead to having to make sharp inside corners. Well, yeah, he can chisel those out. Yeah, yeah. that's what he got to a certain for. extent, but not necessarily. Depends on how you do it. Yeah. He could... He the could cut, the, worry about is he could cut the top piece round to fit in it. With those little I, rounded I, corners. I've done an inset um, lid before like that, and it does depend on humidity in the house and what you've used to um, coat the wood with and everything, depending on how tight the fit is. It does change over time, though, over years and over time. Well, yeah. On, on how the lid fits. But. So do it however you honestly, want though, to do it, John. If, honestly, if I'm going to make another one of these, I'll, I'll I'll use the same design, but I, I'll I'll actually use dowels for these. So basically, uh, I'll just cut the ribbon, the ribbon edge out, and mm -hmm. then drill my dowels. drill dowel holes in the bottom, drill the dowel mm -hmm. holes in the top to match it up, and then just stack my ribbons in place. So that way, it'll it'll be solid dowels all the way up. It'll still give the same look. Yeah, yeah. you won't be able to tell. It'll look just like it looks now. Exactly. I think it would be a lot more work, though. I don't mind work. Just me. Well, I'm not, I'm done not, I'm not saying that one show. It, it, well, it, you it sounded like you, uh, you, you uh, was a, uh, a 
you care about cares. work you said you you, you well, yeah. i don't have to set up my my router when i come no, out. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, that's right doug said less work to make the top the same size than rabbit or dado the I, top to fit the inside i do understand that the, and you're right it's less work i do understand the uh Cutting it out though, with, and then adding your own dowels though, I do understand seeing that. But you know what? It's, I think it would be a lot more work though. You know what? I think I'm going to make a set of these. I'll have a three high one and a four high one. Oh, and a two high one. Yep. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to make some more of these. <clears throat> I like the uh, I like the double height one. So yeah, I, I'm going to make a double. And a triple and a quadruple height one. So I should have a set of them. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Wood around. You're having quintuplets? Uh, Shaley, now it'll never get done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'll make some more of these. And like I said, so big, so I need. Uh, three five more so I, I need five more of these and two more tops and two more bottoms and then i'll make three lids all at once cool yeah so you're going live again tomorrow get done what's that we're just gonna stay live and do it now what's that johnny i said do you want to take a bet on how long it's gonna take you no we should take a poll. Oh, okay. Is one. Okay. <laughs> Put it this way. It was two. Okay. So so take off the first 20 minutes. It was two hours to do this one box. That's true. So all right, so that means you're, does that mean you're going live again tomorrow? Yes, I'm going live again tomorrow. What time? Uh, early. It'll be early in the morning. Uh, let's say 10 o'clock. So it'll be 11 o'clock your time. I was going to say, do you want me to set your alarm? I'm sure somebody will call me. <laughs> John, you said you're going live. Oh, I'm, like, oh, I'm not even dressed yet. I could do it at six in the morning here. Doug said, okay, so OG the top, then uh, cut three sixteenths no. deep rabbit for the top to fit inside. LOL. <laughs> six o'clock in your morning is. Four o'clock. Five years. Yes, I know. Four. Four. Isn't that like where we're at, also, John? I think I'm like two hours ahead of you. You, yeah, you know, you yeah, could just ahead. You could you, just uh, cut uh, a Jason, couple more at, of those. Uh, you're at ten thirty. What? You could just couple cut a couple. Yeah, yeah cut a couple point, more of those now while you're on. Right now, John. <sighs> No, because I, I I don't I I only did these ones. I get I I get a. Oh, you I don't have to, enough uh, wood prepped. No, I don't have any more prepped. <clears throat> I got to uh, plane some more, plane and sand some more. So I'll do that in the morning before I go live. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, let's get everybody on here. Piece of cake. Easy, easy. easy. Like crap, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to this one. Uh Doug, O G spelled O G double E. <laughs> he said, I know how to do it. I don't oh. know how to spell it. Oh G. That's sorry right. of my life. OG. Well, that's what she said. <laughs> so there you go. One one little Box, cool. yeah, like a, a, a one box. I, I, I think that's gonna look cool as a set of three, and then I'll do, I'll do all three lids the same. Yeah, I think she can use them as canisters or whatever. Um, <laughs> well, I really he's tired. Well, be, well, 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 except see, for the holes the, thing is, I, the sides. Well, see, because I know that she'll 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 she can use one for her scratch tickets. She can use one for her tea bags, and she always has tea beside her, so she can put her tea bags in her red rose tea and then uh for the, the triple one and then the double one she can use for uh, <laughs> uh i'm trying to think of what else she has uh oh jelly beans jelly bellies uh, yeah yep 
Someone's trying to be the favorite about, uh, son-in-law. That, that's about the, uh, the a nice size for uh, Jelly Bellies, picking out Jelly Bellies out of there. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Cool. No, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm always the nice son-in-law. Cool beans. I mean, <sighs> Jelly Beans. Because I get to put up with her for six months, so. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you have to put I up with her? I love my mother in law. I love my mother in law. Well, she, she stays inside the house, so it's okay. It's not that bad. So she's <laughs> moving in with you for six months? Is that what she's doing? Yeah. That why just, can't walk why naked just six in your months? house, man? <laughs> uh, she's like a snowbird now because so, so she can't really travel, but so she spends. She spends the winters down in Calgary because it's warm in Calgary and cold up here. Oh. And she'll spend the summers up here because it's warmer up here. <clears throat> well, he finished, except he didn't. Okay. I So technically, I finished it, but I have an idea that I want to do more for it. So I'll be doing two more, two more, two more boxes he wants to He wants to make a lid for it, and he wants to make two more to match it in, in smaller sizes. I like that so shit. The, the, the little stuff. project that grew. <laughs> you still, are you gonna stain like, it, John? Like, yeah. like the other. What's that? What's that, Johnny? Are you, are you gonna stain it? Uh, are you, gonna stain it? Uh, you know what? I might even paint it. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> I knew I'd get all you. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so Shay, tomorrow I'll, I'll I'll be going live again. I'll be making two more, and uh, so I'm going to make a double high one. A poop, double high. Yeah. Rubber undercoat. Uh, what's that? Rubber undercoat. And a triple high, and then <laughs> a, a four high. I'll make a set of them. I think it looks awesome, Jen. That's something you can put on your yep. Etsy shop. You got an Etsy shop? You got your website, no. right? No. Yeah. Well, put them on there. No. Yeah. <laughs> everything's everything's on my website. Everything's right. over at whatabagoodscroll dot com. There you go. Uh, Cannot confirm or deny. Everything is on there, so that way <laughs> anything that what anybody wants to buy can be bought on there. But they got a message for it though. <laughs> Her, Herb said. So did I hear that right? Is he going to paint it? <laughs> I said fade. I was just waiting for the reaction from everybody in the crowd. That's all. Cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> and Doug uh, said, so he's you know going to be sending you. Shay said you love miniatures, so Doug's going to be sending you little people memes now. So uh, I, 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 I should actually try a miniature one. I can try and downsize this one. To probably. Uh, I'm not going to go too small, though. Um, I'll one make it two by one. Them. I'll make it two by one, and then basically I just got to resaw them in half. It holds two skittles. <laughs> It'll hold one uh, one Werther's candy. <laughs> Herb said you're talking about paint and woke him up. <laughs> oh, Herb. Kitchen cabinets don't count, Shaylee, as long as they're not good quality wood. <laughs> if you're painting oak or maple or cherry, I may have to come up there and spank you myself. My God, and I'll put the camera on and catch a video of it. What painting? No, uh, I don't. Now red oak, it. okay, fine, but <laughs> yeah. So after I done this uh, th this walnut bowl, I think I should paint that uh, orange. Orange is a nice color for walnut, isn't it? Mm. Hello, Wesley. You you're just in time for the end, almost or whatever. Yeah. Hello, Wesley. What what kind of orange? Uh, safety orange. Hi, I did. Oh, look, jelly bellies. <laughs> 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 yeah.
yeah, thanks everybody for uh, joining at the last second, Wesley. <laughs> Shaylee said they're solid oak. Oh, well. Doug said paint it, Shay. I hate oak. Only mm -hmm. if it's red oak. I like white oak. You don't you don't paint white oak. Hemi orange. orange. <laughs> Chevy blue. Chevy, yeah. uh, uh, no, no. You don't have any wood. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> she don't have a beard either. No, she don't. So, she Wes, so since, uh, so Wes, since uh, you're coming on right as I'm going off, are you going to go live right now, too? <sighs> Stay tuned for Wesley Bucko at Scrolls Lock Cafe. <laughs> Shaylee said, it's my wood. I can paint it if I want to. <laughs> oh, Shay. So we're going to stop it here. So like I said, uh, I'll be going yeah, live tomorrow. Small I'll container, man. Uh, I'll be going live tomorrow. I'll be doing two more boxes of these. And uh, so I'll uh, get stuff done tonight to get it ready for tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you all then. Have fun. Uh, thanks, everybody, right. for being on the panel. And uh, thanks, everybody, for being so, in the chat. Question. is So, Wesley, so. you're going live, right? Is that what that meant? That's what it looks like. He said, my pleasure. We have to go somewhere, Wesley. Come on. Right, we have to go somewhere. <laughs> no lie. Been trimming out and painting. Come on, hook us up. No lie. Been uh, trimming Oh, trimming out and painting. Are oh, you still remodeling <laughs> this house? Or are you painting yeah, trim? Wah, wah, wah. Okay, Shaylee, you're, are you through? You can go live. <laughs> Wait, Shay's going live? All right. We can All watch right. Shay go live. We'll watch you paint your wood. <laughs> Wait. All right, well, so hey, thanks, yeah. everybody, for being in the chat. Where do we watch Thanks, everybody, Shaley for hanging out with us. Wait, where do we watch Haley Payne? I'm, I can't find her. <laughs> She's not live yet. <laughs> you, you, you gonna go live while you're painting, Shaley? We'll come watch. Or we'll at least answer. hang out. <clears throat> She's not even thinking about us. We right make now. a good peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wes. <laughs> Wes the toilet's finally back in place. Cool. You don't have to worry about hitting the hole anymore. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thanks, everybody. And uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Have fun.